everyone. Welcome back. Today I'm leading you through a 20 minute booty workout at home with no equipment needed. You will need something soft beneath you as we are going to be on the ground. Also, you can feel free to add in some resistance bands or weights if you feel necessary, but this workout can be done with absolutely zero equipment. Make sure that you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, we're gonna start off on the ground, warming up those glutes with a bunch of glute bridges. So feet are planted flat on the floor. You're gonna tuck that lower back, press it down into the floor. Then you're gonna send the hips up to the sky as high as you can, squeeze those glutes, and then control lower down. From here, we're going to pulse. So from the top of your glute bridge, you're just going to let the glutes go a little tiny bit. So coming down about halfway, then send the hips all the way back up. Try not to think about arching your back here. Think about tucking the booty under and just squeezing those glutes. Good, coming down, we're taking a 15 second rest. You're gonna bring the soles of your feet together and let those knees fall open. We're going to do some more glute bridges. This time we're gonna do some froggy glute bridges. So same thing, you're pressing your lower back down into the floor and then from here, you're pressing the hips all the way up to the sky. Press those hips up as high as they can go. Squeeze those glutes. Again, same thing. We're going to do 30 seconds of pulsing. So from the very top of your glute bridge, you're coming down about halfway and then pressing right back up. Good, taking a 15 second rest. Staying down here on the floor, we're going to do some more glute bridges. This time we're gonna do some single leg glute bridges. So how many times can I say glute bridges in this workout? We're gonna do right side first. So right leg is off the floor. You're pressing down into that left heel. Send the hips up and lower down. You can have the leg bent or straight, totally up to you, whatever feels most, most, most comfortable. Sit into that left heel, press the hip up as high as you can. From here, we're going to hold at the top of our glute bridge for 10 seconds. So you're gonna extend that leg, bring the legs so they're both in line with each other, and we're just going to hold. Good, switching legs, so left leg is up in the air this time. Press those hips up. Getting ready to hold for 10 seconds. 
press the hips up, legs are in line with each other, stretch that leg. Whew. Good, flip it over. You're gonna be laying on your right side, so our left leg's going to be our working leg. We're gonna do some clamshells first. So we're just going to open the leg and close. This is a very easy movement to just kind of go through. As I'm doing this, I don't even feel this in my glute, but if I'm really thinking about rotating the hips and squeezing that glute as I open the leg as far as I can, I really feel it in that outer upper glute. From here, we're gonna use that same left leg. We're gonna flex the foot and you're gonna kick the leg back diagonally so you're feeling that more in the under part of your booty. You're gonna try and keep your upper body nice and still and stretch that leg as hard as you can. Good, 15 second rest. We're gonna flip it over to our left side. So now we're working with our right leg. Starting off with the clamshells, so legs are bent. And we're opening, keeping the feet touching, squeezing that outer glute, and close. All right, we're kicking back, flexing the foot, squeezing that glute, stretching the leg as hard as you can. Nice work. We're gonna flip it over into a tabletop position. So we're gonna start off by using our left leg. We're going to do just some regular donkey kicks. So make sure both of your hips are facing the floor at all times. You're gonna keep your core braced and you're gonna send the leg up. So thinking about kicking that heel as high as you can to the ceiling, squeezing the glute and bringing it back down. From here, we're gonna do the same thing, except at the top of your donkey kick, you're going to keep the knee where it is, extend the lower half of the leg, bring it back in and back down. So bringing it up, extend, in and lower. You might feel this a little bit more in your hamstring.
Next time you do your donkey kick, you're going to hold. And from here, we're going to pulse for 30 seconds. So driving that heel up towards the ceiling. Make sure you keep your left hip pointing down towards the floor. Taking it to a 15 second rest, we're going to do the right side. So starting off with just some regular donkey kicks using our right leg, here we go. Getting ready to extend, so at the top of our donkey kick, extending the lower half of the leg, bringing it back in and back down. and getting ready to pulse for 30 seconds. Keep that leg up. Come on guys, a few more seconds, keep those legs up. Good work, taking a 15 second rest. We're gonna go back into that same position. This time we're gonna use the left leg. I will show you facing this way first. You're going to do some half circles. You're going to lift the leg up to a fire hydrant position, circle that knee around to a donkey kick position, and then bring it back in. So fire hydrant, circle it around, keeping the knee lifted, and bring it back in. From here, next 30 seconds, you're doing just straight fire hydrants, lifting the leg up to the side. Really think about squeezing and holding at the top. Good, taking a 15 second rest, we're gonna do the same thing, just on our right leg. Here we go, right side. So keep that knee lifted and then drive that right hip down towards the floor as you hit that donkey kick position. Getting ready for 30 seconds of fire hydrant. Keep that upper body still, keep that core tight. Just lifting the leg up to the side. <sighs> nice. 
Nice work, we're going to stand it up. All right, so now your glutes should be nice and warm. We're gonna do some squats and some lunges to end off this workout. So first up, you're going to do some double pulse squats. So feet just about shoulder width, maybe a little bit further, coming down all the way in your squat, you're pulsing and coming up. I'm keeping a slight bend in my knees. I'm not hinging the hips forward and stretching my legs. Slight bend, keeping the body slightly angled forward, so tension around the glutes. Nice work, 15 second rest. Next up, we're going to do some reverse lunges with a knee drive. So you're gonna choose a side to start off with. I'm going to bring my left leg back first. So I'm stepping back with my left leg, making sure that I'm sitting into this supporting heel, into this glute. And then as I come up, I'm driving this knee forward and squeezing this glute even more. So make sure you're driving through this heel to stand up. You'll really feel that glute fire up as you go to stand up. If you are finding it hard to balance doing this, bringing the leg up, you can just step the toe back beside your supporting leg. Nice work, give that supporting leg a shake. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Really think about sitting back into that lunge. work. Next up, plain and simple sumo squats. So legs are a little bit further than that regular squat stance and your toes are pointed out on a diagonal. You're coming down and coming up. Same thing, slight bend in the knees, bodies angled forward. Really think about squeezing those glutes together as you stand up. work. Next up, good morning to squat. So toes are pointed forward this time. Fingertips are going to be by your ears. You're going to hinge forward just like you would in a deadlift. So think about sending the hips back and your back is flat. Chin is tucked. You come up squeezing those glutes. Again, knees are bent. Come down into a squat and up. Hinge forward, up, down and up.
Good work, this is your last 15 second rest. Use it wisely because our last 30 seconds are going to be 30 seconds of jump squats. Here we go. Let's burn it out, 30 seconds. Do as many jump squats as you can. If you feel like you cannot go no more, you're gonna do just some fast explosive squats, bringing the feet together in between like so. Whew. Give your legs a shake. Give yourself a pat on the back. Great job, guys. I hope you enjoyed this 20 minute booty workout at home with no equipment. If you like this and you wanna see more of this style, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know how you enjoyed it in the comments down below. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me and I will see you guys next time. Bye.